Hi everyone, Thomas here, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for part 25 of my City Living LP here on The Sims 4. So in the last episode, Penny and Vincent moved into their new penthouse in Samai Shuno. I believe it's in the fashion district. Um, I can't remember the I think it is. Um, <laughs> and they actually, you know, saved up a lot um, from their old apartment and were able to, but they had a couple of decisions. They could either buy a better apartment because they had one of the lower class ones, either renovate their lower class one, or they actually had an, enough money to move into a penthouse. That's what they did and actually in the last episode I wasn't really too sure about what um, the penthouse that we had so between the last episode and now I have been looking around for some new penthouses and this is the one I decided um, I can't remember what it's called but you do if you just go into the gallery search penthouse most popular it'll be in the top I think it's just called like furnished penthouse pen oh my god I can't speak furnished penthouse or something like that so it's easy to find um, okay so he's just cooking dinner because he actually went out earlier for um, a couple of drinks at the bar and did a little bit of karaoke with his brother Aaron because they never really get to see each other that often. I'm also actually going to invite Aaron over tonight actually for um for uh, dinner but it is a little bit late now so I'm just going to get Tim and Penny to do it. Um, he's came home, Penny is taking a nap because um, if you don't know Penny is pregnant and she is currently in her second trimester I believe, let's just check, third, well third trimester nearly um, and I thought it would be a nice idea for him just to cook some dinner and di can't speak, dinner and then uh, surprise him with that. So I'm just going to get him to continue with that. Penny hasn't really been doing a lot since you know she is kind of heavily pregnant so um, she's just been in the house a lot. One thing I need to do is take some of these curtains out because actually well I mean it's just like curtains along the whole wall I think it'd be nice to open these up and be able to see out in the view um, I might do that now actually um, so I did go through a couple of different penthouses trying to find one that I liked um, but this is kind of the only one that I like actually liked um, sorry <coughs> I've got a cough today I'm going to try and cut out as many coughs as I can because Oh god, I've just been coughing all day. I don't know why I'm starting to get ill again. I've just had a horrible fever and now I'm getting ill again. Um, but, you know, hopefully that won't last too long. Um, it's just kind of like a tickly cough. It was just very annoying. <laughs> anyway, so, um, what I'm going to get him to do, well, just that really. Also, another thing, when he was out at the uh, restaurant, not the restaurant, at the bar, um, he actually uh, met somebody new. Um, now, where, where's this person? I clicked on the wrong person. I was like, why can't I find them? Um, hang on, where are they? Here. Well, the picture isn't loading, but it's a new girl in town called Alexia, and she was at the bar, and um, she, well, a big long long story I think what we should do is actually meet up with her tomorrow to go and see how she's getting on because it is a little bit of a backstory uh, for her and um, this is actually a sim submitted by teacup simmer here on YouTube she actually she can't speak she actually submitted it to me a little while ago for the LP and you can do that all the time if you like just um, submit your sims or lots on the gallery using the hashtag TTVCL and you can go ahead and submit those and I'll try my best to um, put those into the um, LP. So for some reason he's just put, wait, did he just put the plate of taco casserole under the fridge? I think that's what he's just done. Um, let's check here yeah, because he just like placed it down on the fridge. No, didn't. Hmm. Oh well, I, did you see that? Everything's going wrong. I don't know, what's he doing? He's like, everything's just reset. Anyway, moving on. Sorry, I really want to get this put to the drama in this episode, but this is taking too long. Everything just takes so long now. I don't know what's the problem with it. Um, so it has like completely vanished. So that was a total. Oh, it's over here. <laughs> I didn't see that. It's over here. So let's go and put this on the dinner table over here. And I'm going to get him. Well, I'm going to get him a call to a meal. So I'm going to put that one away. And I'm going to do it this way as well. So let's just call to. I don't know why I pick up serving. I've never seen that interaction before. Is this from a new update or something? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if you know. So um, I'm going to get them to have their dinner here. And Penny's going to come over and have hers as well. And I don't know why he's getting up to do. What is he doing? Wait, what? Oh my god. Everything is a total mess today. I'm having so many glitches in my game, it's actually ridiculous. Okay, let's get her to come and grab her serving. Um, so, their bedroom, I believe, is up here. This is actually, well, there was a couple of different penthouses. All of them I found were very modern ones, so it was a little bit hard to... um find one since Penny is pregnant so I did want one that was going to be good for a family as well so this is the only one I found just have a couple of kids bedrooms in which is going to be great um, and their bedroom is over here this big one and um, I just have their own bathroom as well uh, I think there might be one no there, I thought there was one on the upstairs but it isn't um, but there is a big basketball co court over here and the outside is actually really nice it's got a dance floor and a hot tub and a big pool as well so hopefully we'll be making good use out of those um, okay so I'm going to get them to finish off here there isn't really 
really a whole lot left to do tonight. So what I'm going to do is pause the recording here and we'll see what there is to do in the morning. Okay, so it is the morning time now and Vincent has just gotten up. Penny got up a couple of hours ago because, you know, she was a bit restless through the night with her pregnancy and stuff. Um, so I'm actually going to get Vincent to call over. Um, oh, he's getting a text or something. Um... Oh, oh, well, Alexia, that's also something we're going to look at today as well because I really want to go into her storyline a little bit. Um, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, but today we're going to meet up with, well, I'm going to invite Aaron over because he hasn't seen the new house yet. And um, they just have a basketball court there as well. If you're new to this LP, when pa um, well, Vincent's parents actually passed away a little while ago. Um, and, you know, they were a little bit concerned about Aaron's health and that, you know, they asked Vincent to maybe help him get back on track with his life because I recommend you go back if you haven't seen part one because I did a little background information about all the Sims um, and, you know, that'll help you a little bit understand what the what this is all about, really. Um, but I'm going to invite Aaron over because they had a little thing where they're going to be doing uh, like a fitness regime sort of thing every day or every week. Um, um, which has been a little bit on the rocks, but on the that's not on the rocks, really. Why did I say that? That doesn't make any sense. Um, you know, it's just been a little bit shaky in terms of their schedule, especially with what Vincent's been doing recently. Um, so I'm going to actually invite um, Aaron in because I want to go and see, uh, do a little bit of fitness with him. There's actually a basketball court, which you may have seen just before. Um, so I'm going to go and greet him by just, you know, giving him a hug um, and we'll see what the day takes us with. Now, we're not going to spend too much time with him today because, you know, we've got to get on and I don't really have a lot of time left in this LP, um, well, this LP episode. Um, so Vincent's feeling really sad today. Well, not Vincent. Um, Aaron is feeling really sad today. Um, I don't know why, we're going to have to try and maybe see why because, well, I um, may have a reason it's maybe because he's a bit lonely because he actually lives by himself and now that their parents are dead you know, he doesn't really get a lot of social interaction apart from being with Vincent, so you know, hopefully we'll be able to get help him with that as well. Um, okay, so I'm going to get them to come up here and shoot around. Um, okay, I'm going to have to put them in a group first and try that way. Um, so let's do this quickly. Um, actions form a group, uh, add to group. Okay, that's a bit easier. And go up again. Th three fours this time. Um, and shoot around together and that'll do. Just do that for a couple of hours and see what there is to do. Um, they both have work today, but I do actually want them, I'm just going to say work from home. I was hoping that they would be able to take family leave by now, but I'm not too sure about that. No, probably when she's in her third trimester which i believe she is in now actually let's see third trimester nine hours so today so maybe tomorrow for work they'll be able to uh, actually take family leave which is great i think it is a third trimester oh also another thing during the night i got a notification saying vincent will be aging up in a couple of days which i'm totally shocked about i didn't realize he was that late in his life already and um, i'm actually going to see which life um span we have here because i'm hoping it's on long um because i do like to play with that um i still long actually because I feel like with normal and short, it's just way too short and I don't have enough time to play with my sims with every life stage. Especially with them being young adults, I feel like that's the best time to tell the stories that I have for them. So being an adult will lead on to adult being, oh my god, I can't speak, being an elder, which you know isn't too great. Um, I'm sorry if I don't really sound too enthusiastic today. My voice is a little bit odd, as you can probably hear, because of this cough that I've had. Um, anyway, so Penny is just feeling a little bit lost. Um, she's just standing in the bathroom for hours, okay? She wants to go and talk to Aaron, but let's just forget that for now, because she's got to go and fix up her hunger. I also put the lights on auto lights, because as you can see, the money is 110, which is a little bit lower than yesterday, or I mean, less, well, kind of yesterday, but not yesterday, actually, <laughs> the last episode. Um... So, I might explain why it's went down a little bit later when we go and see Alexia. You can start, you know, thinking of your theories why that might be, but we'll see that shortly. Um, so, they have been shooting around. Uh, oh my god, I still forgot to put Vincent's um, shoes on from that CC glitch. And I think Aaron's just left, I think. Um, I don't know what's just happened there. Oh well, <laughs> I don't really care. Um, that we've spent enough time with him today. So, I'm actually going to get Aaron to go over and... Oh, he's there. Hmm, I don't know where he went then. Um, so they're just taking a picture together. So I'm going to get him to actually go back into his everyday outfit because I want him to go over and see um, Alexia today just to catch up from last night because some things happened so I want to go and see um, about that. So I'm going to get him to um, change into his everyday outfit. If I can find this somewhere, I don't know why I can't say change outfit. Ch oh, outfit. <laughs> um, and let's do that. Okay, so let's get him to head over to Alexia's house and I'll meet you there. Okay, so we're here at Alexia's apartment now and... Um, I'm going to tell you a bit about the backstory of why Vincent has a relationship with this person now. They just got to know each other last night in the uh, Planet Honey Pop Lounge when Vincent was there with um, Aaron. And uh, she was just at the bar and they got talking a little bit. And she was just telling them how she has these big dreams to become a big singer and things. And since Vincent is now with Penny and she seems...
seems to, you know, she has a, a big social following. Oh, there's my timer for the episode, but I can go for a little bit longer. Because um, I forgot when I did that little transition there from the last bit, I forgot to unpause my timer and it was like five minutes. Anyway, moving on. So, um, yes, now that Penny has a little bit of a social following, he thought it would be a good idea to maybe help Alexia get into this career that, you know, um, Vincent is trying to. Also, there was a little bit of a different backstory than what Teacup Summer gave me for the sim, but I wanted to change it up a little bit, so I'm sorry about that, just to fit in with the LP. Um, but anyway, so... You know, he was uh, talking about it. Uh, they were talking about that because they both had the same aims for their careers and things. And, uh, you know, he thought that, um, you know, well, that, you know, he could maybe, well, <laughs> I can't speak, that he could maybe help her with that. So um, that's what they've been, you know, trying to do. And Vincent, well, you may see why the household funds was a little bit lower. And Vincent actually gave her about 20,000 small which is actually quite a lot because she was telling them about this um, a couple of struggles that she's had and that just not really on her feet at the minute. Um, so Vincent decided to help her with that since, you know, he's been doing a couple of bad things recently that I'm sure he doesn't want to get caught doing with these murders and things, which is, you know, it still shocks me to this day to even say that Vincent murdered like five people. Um, but, you know, it is it does even sound ridiculous as well, but... You know, he did get a lot of money from that. He wanted to help people, other people out through it as well because he thought that would be something good. Because he does actually have the good trait and doing all these things was conflicting that trait a little bit. So that's what he decided to do. So he's here with, um, you know, with uh, Alexia. And they've actually been talking for a little while here. But, you know, he's actually starting to have got a little bit of feelings for her, which is totally shocking. And Vincent knows this is going to be a bad idea. But uh, they've been talking for a little bit. So I'm going to see what, what's going to happen if he tries to do a romantic, um, you know, interaction with her and see how that goes. Oh, it didn't seem to work. Let's try that again. Maybe that's to tell me something not to go that far um you know what i'm gonna do maybe get to know her a little bit more first cause i think that'd be oh oh no she's got one of those cc things where you, you, it looks at you and see that thing where it says see what's happening and they just do the shocked face all the time oh, well let's try and forget that um that's maybe why she's embarrassed because of this thing a cc glitch anyway moving on i might have to change that um so oh my god i've got my speakers on too loud um so i'm going to get to know each other a little bit first and then i'll try a, a romantic interaction see how that goes like i said i don't think it's going to go too well but you know let's see how it does i believe she is single because i've just moved her in here but you know uh, oh my god it did work so that is probably a really bad idea. I think Vincent kind of regrets it already that now she has the same feelings for him because, you know, he's, his, well, girlfriend, are they engaged? I don't even know if him and Penny are engaged, but, you know, he's having a child and it's on the way and it's going to be here very soon. And she's, he's now developing feelings for the, oh my God, that face. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> eyes are like roll back into her head. Um, and she, act, well, he still has feelings for other people in the past as well, like Betty, who, you know, well, Betty actually cheated on Vincent, which I don't really think was good in terms of Vincent trying to get back with her. Like, it's just not going to work. But for some reason, Betty wants to, well, he wants to go back to Betty as well. And I don't know if Penny's going to be the right person for him. And I think he's making a big mistake with all the choices he's been making recently. But I want you to let me know in the comment section down below about what you think the future is for Vincent and Penny and how you think Alexia will influence this. Now, as you mean, well, the thing is that Alexia kind of, that 20,000 simoleons, she kind of pushed him into giving her that, which is a little bit odd. I'm really surprised that Vincent actually went ahead with that because it's kind of like a random person, really. Like, they only known each other for less than a night. And, you know, he gave her all this money, which is totally surprised and I didn't think he would be that stupid. I'm hoping that she's not going to maybe take advantage of Vincent now, but... Now that he knows, you know, about Penny and how maybe through Vincent and Penny, she could maybe get into this career as well. So we're going to have to wait and see how this all plans out. Let me know in the comments section down below about what you think of this. I'd love to hear what you think and what you think the future for Vincent will be and Alexia and Penny and other relationships that he has, because he has quite a lot of relationships now. Um, and yes, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Please make sure you leave a like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.